Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, it's come to my attention that after reviewing the footage for this episode that I was actually holding the bird improperly, for which I am deeply sorry. Um, the correct way to hold a bird, which is uh, commonly called the bird banners grip, involves using your middle finger and your pointer finger to wrap around the neck of a bird. This secures it safely and tightly and it prevents any uh, injury and damage to the bird. Um, you noticed in the video that I was holding in a very, very different way. Again, I'm really sorry for that. I was not aware of the proper technique at the time, and I always try to learn from my mistakes. So in the future, if you ever do find yourself in a position where you are holding a wild bird, uh, please look to the above picture as a reference and do not um, use my improper technique in the video as a guide. Again, sorry for that, and enjoy the show. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Up next on Gone and Gone Wild. Hello everyone, welcome to another special episode of Gone and Gone Wild. I am here in beautiful sunny Oakland and in my hand here is a California towhee. That is right, I'm currently holding a live, very unhappy live bird in my hand. And you're probably wondering why. Why is it that I have this California towhee in my hand right now? Um, I'm going to let him go really, really quickly. And the reason is, I was just out here in my front yard, just, uh, just chilling. And all of a sudden, this little birdie, he just flies in. And because I had the door open, unfortunately, he found his way inside the house. And um, he got stuck in uh, one of my roommate's rooms. So I actually had to chase him down, and I threw a towel over him in order to catch him. And so that's why he is here in my hand right now. Um, that is exactly the story as it goes with these Gordon Gone Wild adventures. You never know what you're going to expect. You never know what you're going to get. And you could just be out here just drinking a couple of beers and all of a sudden, you know, you've got, instead of a beer can in your hand, you've got a, a burn in your hand. So that's just how it is. Hey, babe. So this is the California Tohi right here. Scientific name, Melazone Chrysalis. It is a type of sparrow. Sorry, babe. I will let you go very, very soon. It is a species of sparrow that is commonly found throughout Western North America. And they are also really, really well adapted to urban areas, although their natural habitat is brush and chaparral, which is extremely common throughout here in the coastal regions of California. They've got this really cool behavior where they basically scratch the dirt. And so you can see them with their strong, strong legs here. What they will do is they use the claws on their legs and they will dig into the dirt and what they're doing is they're basically trying to rough up the dirt in order to search for worms, insects, any other uh, arthropods, little creepy crawly critters to consume as part of their diet. And uh, unfortunately, I think I should probably end the episode right here as this bird is not enjoying itself. So all I'm gonna say is, you know, even in urban areas you can find lots and lots of wildlife and you can come into really close contact with it. Normally I would not recommend you to hold a live bird like this but just because of the fact that it did get stuck inside our house i had no other choice but to um save it and so i figured i might as well use this as an educational opportunity so without further ado this is gordon gone wild signing off and i'm going to end this episode by showing you a little bit of footage of me releasing the bird so take care i'll see you soon i'm sorry tohi i will let you go all right three two one and there you go. Be free. <laughs>